Hey, what up fam? Welcome to Vlogmas Day number four. just because um, it is about, mm, let me see, I don't know, it is about 3.40 in the afternoon, basically time for the twins to come home from school, excuse me for the darkness, but um, their dad went to get them from the bus stop, um, so yeah, um, they should be coming in sometime within the next few minutes so yeah just waiting on the twinsies to get home got them some cookies for their little snack their little snacky snack uh oh dropping stuff y'all but yeah got them some little cookies for the well if i don't drop them all on the floor They'll have some cookies, you know. But yeah, got them some cookies for the little snack. Because you know, when they come home from school, they want, I want to snack, mommy. What are we going to have for snack? Not, hey, mommy, how was your day? But mommy, what are we going to have for snack? <laughs> but yeah, so. I was just coming in to say happy Vlogmas Day number four. And I will talk to you guys when the girls get here. Or just a little bit later. Hey y'all. I'm in the kitchen again. Excuse my little, you know, doodad on top of my head. But I had a taste. Not a fair everybody, but except myself. And I had a taste for some hot dogs <laughs> and beans. I don't know if y'all used to eat that when y'all was little but I just had a taste for it so I decided to come in here and make me some and yes I did I want to talk to y'all guys you y'all guys to you guys about something um you know it is vlogmas and um it is how if y'all hear something my washers going on in the background I got my washing clothes too but I want to talk to you guys about um you know, it's the holiday season, and it's a lot of us out here, including myself, who is dealing with loss or grief during the holidays. And I just want to be encouraging to you guys to let you know that it is okay. Um, it is okay for you to grieve during the holidays because the holidays is a time that you're so used to seeing that loved one, um, the smile on their face. You know, them laughing and joking and, you know, having some type of, you know, fun with the family. You, I know that you guys, you know, have tradition in your family to where, um, you know, you might eat at this person's house. You know, for my family, we have brunch at my uncle's house and um, usually we'll come back maybe later on in the evening and we'll do dinner at his house. You know, things like that. Um, you might have it to where you uh, go a certain place or you do a certain thing or even a couple of days before Christmas you might have a party or you know all of you sing Christmas carols at such and such's house yeah excuse, excuse my 
junk back there. <laughs> but um, you know what I'm saying. I mean, everybody has a tradition in their family. But it is okay to break tradition. It is okay to sit one out. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say I don't feel like it. It's okay to say um, not this time, maybe next time. It is okay. Um, it's okay to let someone know that you're grieving. It's okay to talk to people about how you feel. And it's okay to not want to talk to someone right away about how you feel. You might want to come to them later on, you know, after the holidays is over so that you know you can let them know what is it or why you know or what's going on with you or what have you because some people may not understand you know they may not get it you know and it's okay because especially if you're grieving a mother or a father or a spouse in particular that you're used to spending the holidays with you know that can be rather difficult to comprehend not comprehend because you know what's happening but you just feel a, a a more sense of loss during the holidays because you know those are supposed to be the joyous occasions those are times that you remember the most with your loved one and they're gone also do not ever forget to honor them during the holidays honoring them such as like lighting a candle in remembrance of them saying a prayer you know in remembrance of them posting up a picture you know in remembrance of them it's okay to do that it's okay don't ever let anyone make you feel like your grieving process is too long or maybe she should have been over him by now like she's still crying or why is she still crawling underneath her covers? I mean, he's been gone for six months. He's been gone for three years. She's not over yet. Nobody can tell you to get over it. And I'm here to tell you that a lot of times you don't get over it. It's just a point of getting through it. So if you can get through it, then we've made progress. Sometimes people feel like they've grown when they get to a point that they can talk about that loved one without crying. They can talk about that loved one without slipping into a depression. Then that no, that makes you feel like, yes, okay. Thank you, Lord. I'm growing. I'm getting through this. Because you'll never get over the death of a loved one. You'll never get over it. Your priority and your aim is to get through it. Also, do something in that person's name. If that person was a giving person, then go around and help. Um, don't you know? Donate goods or donate coats or collect coats or um, collect food and and give it to someone less fortunate. If that's what your family member was known for is giving and providing and doing things to help their community, do something in their honor. Make them proud. And last but not least, it is okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. No one can expect you to be okay all of the time, especially during the holidays where it's very 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 difficult for a lot of people to just get out of bed get out of bed i mean for me i grieve the loss of my father he has my father has transitioned a long time ago um i want to say it was in 2003 my father passed away and um it's difficult for me it's very difficult. It's very difficult for me because my father was a rock of our family. You know, he is a lot of what held a lot of our family together. And, you know, by him not being here, you know, he's had grandkids since he's been gone. Um, he's gained a grand, uh, a god, a godson, a son-in-law since he's been gone. And it's hard, you know, to just move on with y'all without your dad. Because as a girl, we know that our dads are number one cheerleaders they are 
you know the ones that's always going to have our back they are the ones that think the highest of you they're the ones that you want your husbands or your boyfriends to be like you know because your dad treats you like a princess so you you grow i grew up with a dad who was present who was um you know he went to my extracurricular activities he participated in my life so he showed me what a real man is supposed to treat you like so therefore he taught me of what to look for in a man you know and it's just it's upsetting that you know my husband didn't get to have a relationship with my father but even though my twins never met him they know him so don't ever stop talking about your loved one don't ever you know feel like you okay well he's been gone for such and such amount of time so maybe we should stop talking about him no that's still their grandfather and they deserve to know what type of man he was and how great he was and the memories that you have my, I talk about him so much I promise you my kids think that they know him they really think that they know him so you guys I just want to come and encourage you guys today on this vlogmas day number four that it is okay not to be okay don't give up still push through it you don't have to get over it but you do have to get through it and it's okay to say no. It's okay to not feel like attending a function that brings back a plethora of, you know, memories that, you know, that you just cannot deal with right now. It's okay. Whatever you feel, you go with your gut. Don't let anybody change your mind. It's okay to grieve during the holidays. Just be safe, okay? Talk to you guys later.